Thank you, Tim. Uh, we're right short of time, so we're not going to take any questions. Uh, Sorry. For this one. Oh, that's fine. Um, so, um, yeah, lots of people say that the world is going down, that we're ruining our planet, and the word sustainability actually becomes more and more important. It's an official evaluation point at Ivy Economics. Um, so, um, I think. Uh, and and Ivy Geography, yeah. Um, so, James Price and Jen Aloff are going to elaborate on that. <laughs> so, famous Chuck Palahniuk, Chuck Palahniuk quote. <laughs> this is your life, everything, this is your life, and it's ending one moment at a time. The doomsday clock is ticking, <laughs> and it's ticking ever closer to midnight. The, the doomsday clock is a measure of how close we are to global destruction and destroying the human race through our own actions. But how close, how close are we to destroying our planet through war, nuclear warfare, or just general environmental collapse? destruction? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we like to remind ourselves that we love our own Earth and that we want to keep it the way it is. But every year, 50 million acres of rainforest are lost. We throw away 100 billion plastic bags per year and only recycle 1% of them. Scientists predict that in the next 100 years, sea levels will rise a metre and global, global temperatures will increase 5 degrees. And we currently have 16,000 nuclear warheads <coughs> on the world, in the world today, so which can destroy the world three times over. <laughs> so to, to illustrate just one of the many threats that we are facing, here's a picture of the, the beautiful Maldives. And again, the Maldives in 100 years time. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is completely accurate. <laughs> so if we don't change our ways, over half the, half the Earth's animals could face extinction by 2050. And li the lives of millions of people will be put at risk. Um, in a survey, 99% of people questioned said they cared about the world and wanted to make a positive difference. However, CO2 levels are at the highest they've ever been. And we can no longer keep up with consumption with the environmental technology we are producing today. Um, we're also chiseling away at our world's finite resources. Our consumption has overtaken our needs, and as a result, one third of our food produced worldwide is wasted, which is worth over one trillion dollars per year. It's not even a problem anymore, it's a crime. <laughs> and even, as, even as a school and people in our day-to-day -day lives, we're destroying the world. So we've got some, some footage here. <laughs> destroying ourselves and what it means to be human. <coughs> we live in a world of ignorance and suppression, gross disparities and injustice. This is improved in like many inequalities in life, in inequalities of income and wealth. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> like, between, between the, the difference between the poorest and the richest of us. 
It's just, it's disgusting. <laughs> We're also losing the right to freedom of speech. Uh, the recent Charlie Hebdo case, I'm guessing you've all seen that, or read about it at least. Um, it's, it's almost as if freedom of speech has become more of a weapon these days instead of a liberty. Um, but one of the biggest problems we are facing is this age of, age of technology. Technology has become our greatest enemy. Um, mobile addiction. Yeah, 40% of people check their phones at dinner and at meal times. And 62% of, te uh, yeah, of teenagers check their phones on the toilet. <laughs> we are letting ourselves be consumed by our love for technology. And this is, this is destroying us as a human race. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the many, many problems technology and our addiction to mobile phones is having on our lives. Well, social implications, social isolation. I mean, having a head down on a phone, I mean, you're not going to get many friends, are you? Lack of, so lack of social skills. I mean, it's kind of destroying the way you sort of socialise with, with each other. Um, depression, bullying, cyberbullying, a warped sense of reality. Constant distraction from work and even family members. Um, shortened attention span uh, and a lack of empathy, which is desensitized by the violent YouTube and video games. Um, also on a physical, physical note, um, computer addicts and mobile addicts are getting more and more obese. Um, <laughs> we're also suffering problems from global warming as a result of this usage of technology. It's impacting on our sleep habits, and it's numbing our brains, <laughs> destroying our brain cells. We're numbing them so much that we're turning them back into Neanderthals. <laughs> so to test this theory, to test this theory and discover the extent of mobile phone usage and our dependence on mobile phones, we did a survey around the school. Um, so you might have seen us uh, yesterday morning. Uh, during break, just outside the archway, looking for people on their phones. It was, uh, shocking. It was shocking. Shockingly, we found 40, 47 people on their phones in 10 minutes. Um, and further, further to this, we analysed the body language and the facial expression <laughs> of these. <laughs> Yeah, we analysed the facial expression and body language of these people on their phones and um, to our horror, well we were able to categorise these and um, the highest proportion of people were deemed to be friendless, <laughs> closely followed by stressed, depressed and one kid was just looked confused. <laughs> So, the conclusion we came to was that we are being consumed by technology and this is ruining our day-to-day -day lives. Does this look like a race which is thriving and is happy? I don't think so. <laughs> so we caught, we caught a few of the culprits on camera. Yeah, this, is, this is really shocking. <laughs> Mr. Utting trying to teach a lesson, <laughs> texting away in the corner. <laughs> Ken Worthy again caught yesterday during chapel. And even our very own headmaster. <laughs> and it's definitely a headmaster, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he is not in Germany at the moment. Oh, shit. I need to repeat that. I mean, I, I, I particularly love the photography on the, on the bottom one. It really shows. It's deep and meaningful. I mean, <laughs> And to, uh, to basically summarise up, you know, it's not the end of the world. Or well, well, it, it is. is. It, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Well, okay. <laughs>
Yeah, basically, it's not the end of the movie. But don't let, don't let, don't let your life be ruined by, by phone usage, okay? Yeah, I remember, practice flower power. 